Okay, welcome back to the podcast. I am here with my good friend, Pastor Halit, and uh, thank you for joining us. And we're excited now to hear the conclusion of this amazing situation. And it uh, touches into what we all know about uh, the Arab Spring and what happened in Egypt. It really, in many ways, started in Egypt. And so please tell us more and continue with this great okay. testimony. At that point, we felt that, that there is a, 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 a wall of steel around the country. And this was because of the 30 plus um, having Mubarak in power more than 30 years. So we felt, yes, everything was stable. As if really there is a, a, a steel and a brass cover over over the, the, the land. So when when just this m movement, maybe you can call it labor pain, we have been praying for the country in Egypt for years now, and I'm saying for years to encourage everybody. That it doesn't happen overnight. It's right. not like it's not like that. This is almost 40, 50 years. You yeah. Know. So, so it, at least in our case, it wasn't like that. Yep. So, we have to learn by experience how to humble ourselves, how to seek His presence, and it takes. It, it's not just close your eyes and pray. It, it takes more than that, and it took 30. 40 years to pray for, for the land. So what yeah. happened that, that the revolution started. Yeah. When it started, the, the, the prayer warriors, they felt that this is the shaking of the land because this is the answer of yeah. prayer. And what happened actually was very encouraging that after a while he, he stepped down and he left power and everybody was on cloud nine, right. hoping the best of the best right. to happen to the land and to the nation and to this. Now we don't have the walls anymore. And it. as we prayed for the communism, the, 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 the walls of communism to fall down, mm. now we're praying for our walls and it's about to fall down. Wow. And it's about to, to sense again and to breathe the freedom again. And to share the gospel with everybody. And to have our meetings in the, in, in the streets, in the, in the main squares of, of Egypt, in Cairo. So we had a lot of hopes up to cloud nine. <laughs> and after this and the election, we had the biggest, the biggest disappointment to have uh, President Morsi mm. in power. And President Morsi, <laughs> nothing personal against him, but he represents, of course, the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes. The Muslim Brotherhood, they were about to, uh, uh, they spent more than eight years behind, war, be behind bars in prisons. Right. Started with Nasser. Yep. The, 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 the first president after revolution in 1952, yep. Nasser and Sadat, he started to, to, to sing the same song, the Muslim Brotherhood, because he wanted to have this image that I'm a true Muslim. And he put this uh, mm -hmm. mark mm -hmm. on his head because when you have this mark, it because you pray a lot, you kneel and bow down a lot, mm. so this gets darker. And Mubarak, they were about, they, they spent maybe 80 or more years in prisons, Muslim Brotherhood. So now they are in power. Wow. So this was not the change that the church was thinking was coming through as a result of prayer. This, in fact, was almost worse. Oh, Greg, it was the deepest, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> deepest disappointment. People were deepest very disappointed. disappointment. Yeah, I could imagine. And so. we felt that we prayed all these years. Yep. And, and Lord, is this the kind of 
response? Is this a kind of, you answer our prayers over the years with this, having Muslim Brotherhood in power? And, and, and the people felt so sad. And the prayer, basically, at that time was silence. It was we don't know what to do now. groaning, as if you spend one hour, and this actually what happened. You spend one hour in the prayer meeting or praying in your room, as if just saying one word, God have mercy, God have mercy. God have mercy. Right, right. There is nothing to say. And when, when, when they said, and we knew, if they are in power, they won't be. They won't leave power before hundreds of years. And actually, one of the leaders at that time of the Muslim Brotherhood, he, he said. He vowed. He, he vowed, yeah. He said that we'll be in power for at least 400 years. Wow. Don't even think about that we we'll live in power. We've been in prison for 90, 80, 90 years. Now we'll be in prison, I mean, in power for 400 years at least. Same number as the Israelites were enslaved. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we just, we, we don't have anything to do. And actually, I, I, I'm a pastor in a, in a church here in Boston now. We invited one of the leaders. He came for a seminar to our church at that time, right after having Muslim Brotherhood in power in Egypt. Yep. And he said, it will take less than a year and they will be removed. I said, I told him, Ihab, you're just dreaming. Why it doesn't could, make how sense. How could he say that? How could he say I, that? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't have anything. He said, no, no, it, it, will, it will be less than a year. And I interrupted him. I was sitting in the first row and I interrupted him. Your I faith rose him. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And I said, there is no easy, way. Yeah. You're just dreaming. This is yeah. just being naive. Naive, yeah. And he said, it will take maximum seven months. Okay. Wow. And they kept praying and praying and praying, even with a kind of a broken heart. Yep. But they kept pray, praying for the land and for the nation. Sure. And the miracle happened. Wow. What happened was unbelievable. <laughs> That, what, would, what would that be like? I mean, tell, tell the audience what it would be. This, this is just incredible. Like, no one expected this, and it was truly now the answered prayer coming forth. Exactly. What, what, what happened then, then, when they kept praying, and they kept praying, and they chose the faith, the faith road. Yes. We'll take it by faith. We'll not, we'll not take it by sight. Because yep. it's so dark, right. it's so dark. <laughs> so we'll take it, we'll, we'll train ourselves, we'll, we'll practice faith now. Okay. So it's just faith. And faith will shake the mountains. Yes. The mountains, which is the symbol of um, immovability, immovability, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so they took it by faith. They kept praying. Yep. And they kept praying in faith and fasting, and faith, and fasting, and praying. This was like the, the Bro bread. together, yep. Commingled. Yeah. So they kept for months. And what happened was really unbelievable. We, we, we had the July conference. Yep. And one of the speakers was Pastor Sam Maurice, who is this now is the senior pastor of this church, the Castro Dubar Church. And just days, days before, before um, the conference, before June 30th. 2012. He, yes. He, he called me and he said, it doesn't seem that I'll be able to come to your conference. I said, Pastor Sam, we can't. This is, no. Because the conference is just 48 hours away. I cannot get any speaker other than you. He said, Khalid, you don't know. What's going to happen on June 30th is even bigger than January 25th, wow. which is the, the, uh, 2011. Yep. I said, I don't think so. I, I don't think that. He said, you will see and you will hear. Wow. I said, I hope, but I don't see it. Mm. He said, you will see it. You will see it. And what happened uh, on June 30th, that every millions Millions mm. 
were in the streets. Millions of Protesting, people. Yeah. Millions. And this... Some least, say 33 million. And some say that this is the biggest number of people in the streets... Protested at, ever. Ever. Right. In the history of humans. Yes. So, and, 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 the, and the people who were praying, they said, this is it. God is moving. Ah, and now... And, and now we appreciate what happened through that last year with the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah. You know why? Because now everybody, even the Muslim people, they, they knew who, is, who are or who is the Muslim Brotherhood, who are these leaders, who are these kind of people when they are in power. Yep. So what happened, that they got exposed, you know, mm. In this year, they got exposed. Everybody saw. Mm. And they don't care about our country, about our culture. They care about having this, this uh, um, dominion over, over the Arab and the European and having this Islamic state, Islamic country. Mm. And country doesn't have, in their mind, it doesn't have borders. The country would be Egypt, uh, Palestine, Syria, Sudan, Iraq, mm. Lebanon, and Asia and Europe. And they have this, the project document that they w want to control Europe in 20 years and control the United States. Highly planned, very orchestrated. Highly planned, highly organized. They know what they are doing. And they are so clever in planning and organizing. Anyway, so this is what happened. The earthquake happened. And actually... Walls me fell. Me mentioning earthquake, we had an earthquake, the biggest earthquake that happened in Egypt. It was 1991. Okay. And I remember, and everybody remembers this minute by minute, minute by minute. Yep. What happened? I was in my church. Yep. And I started in 1991 to hear a voice before I sense every anything. I was leaning against a wall. Just leaning against a wall. And I, and, and I heard this sound, and I didn't know what is that. And after that, I felt the wall Vibrate. shaking. And we knew by that time, by that, time that, that, that this is an earthquake. So there was an earthquake when this happened? Exactly. They felt that, that there is this sound of cracking. Yes. Uh, that the, 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 the foundations yes. is moving, yes. shaking, cracking. Yes. The intercessors felt this. Oh, yeah, definitely. And they felt that the walls mm. that we kept praying for years. Coming down, yeah. Coming down and getting exposed that this is not the safe walls. Mm. The walls, uh, as you know in the Bible, walls of a city is the safety and protection of, of the city, city. Yep. of that city. And they, 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 the Muslim people, they, they felt that Muslim Brotherhood being in power is not safety to the country. It's a threat mm. to the country and to our culture. And, and having the Muslim Brotherhood back to prisons with, with President Morsi not in power anymore, this is definitely and for sure the answer of the answer our prayers. Prayer. And guess what? In the Easter and the Christmas, they send, they send uh, people from the government, highly ranked mm. people from the government, yep. to say Happy Easter and Merry Christmas and so, sure. for, so forth. But after June 30th and July 3rd, everything changed. Can we just pause there? Because sure. what we'll do, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I, I have a sense that that disillusionment when uh, the Muslim Brotherhood came to power is a very important issue to pray through. Um, intercessors, we've been there, I'm sure all of us in prayer sometimes don't understand what's happening. We don't know why things are going wrong or backward or it seems as though the symptoms of death are upon us, but yet we trusted God. We know what he said. We believed it, but we're just not seeing it. So let's just pray that quickly, 
and then we'll come in and we'll uh, wrap into the next segment. So, Father, just thank you for this revelation and understanding that it is not by our natural eyes which we're guided, but it is by our prayer and uh, led by your will. And no matter what it looks like, we trust you. And no matter what we've been through in pain and hurt and difficulty and trial, we trust you. And we want to trust you in our country, in the United States, just as they trusted you in Egypt, Lord. Even seeing this uh, just a doubly worse situation, yet it got turned around and was much better, doubly better or more. And we just thank you and we trust you for that here in our country too. Jesus, Lord. Yes, we learned the lesson, Lord, that it's not just without our, our natural eyes, but not by power or might, but, your, but by your spirit. And we believe that and we, we come to surrender ourselves and we believe that you are the ultimate authority of everything. And we believe that you put kings and you remove kings and you yes. put authorities and you remove authorities. And you are, you are the power and you are the, the, the power that can make us feel safe. We, we, we entrust this land and this nation in your hands to take it to the next phase. And we believe that you are a, a faithful God that we can trust in Jesus. Amen. And just before the next segment, pray that faith would arise and no matter what the situation looks like, we will continue to trust God and just pray into that, whatever that means for you personally, but also corporately. And no matter how it looks here in the United States today uh, or in the past few years, just let's just trust God and not trust our natural eyes, but let uh, faith arise in us and see the results which will come in that hope in Jesus' name.